Hello everyone, my name is Frank and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Apple Watch Series 6. It's been a week since the release and I've been trying it out, putting it through the paces and trying out the new features. So far, I really like it. Today we're going to talk about both the hardware and software improvements for the new Apple Watch, share with you how I use them and how I like them. Let's begin with the hardware improvements. First and foremost, the brain of the watch. Now we have a new processor inside, it's the S6 chip. According to Apple, it is 20% faster than before. During my day-to-day -day use, I did feel that the new watch is a lot snappier than before, but I do think some of that improvement also came from the, the performance boost that came with the watch OS 7. Another major feature for this year is we now have a blood oxygen sensor. It is quite a novice feature and I was wondering what would be the purpose of it, right? The idea is to use infrared to test the oxygen saturation of your blood, which according to some of my very simple research is a good indication of your heart and lung health. Also during the pandemic, it is one of the vitals that the healthcare professionals monitor the patients. Although like Apple said, this is not a medical device and this is not supposed to provide a medical device grade measuring, but I do think having that data over time would provide a reference point on how well your heart and lung health are. Are you going towards the healthy trend or is there something that you need to pay attention to? Maybe consult a healthcare professional about. Also for this year, uh, like Apple mentioned, for the always on display, the brightness of the wrist down mode is 2.5 times brighter than before. It is not as obvious when you're indoors, but when you are in a brighter environment, when you're outdoor hiking or walking, doing that exercise, social distancing, I did notice I can see the content on the watch better without having to lift my wrist up, which is a welcoming improvement. Another improvement this year is the shortened charging time from the 2.5 hours to the current 1.5 hours. How is that helpful? I think this is related to the new software feature of sleep tracking. If you do want to use the sleep tracking feature, we'll have to wear your watch to bed. And then comes the question of when you charge your phone, right? A lot of us would have to charge it either before bed, right before we go to sleep to make sure it lasts the whole night, or right after you wake up to make sure on the, on the new day you can still fully utilize your watch. By having that shortened charging time, you can have quite a bit of battery power with a relatively shorter period of charging time, which is great if you need to use it a lot more longer than before with a lot shorter charging time, especially when you have to wear it overnight. One more improvement on the hardware side is the now always on altimeter. Now you no longer have to be in a hiking workout for example to have the elevation gain and loss for that workout that information is now always there you can just go check it out if you need it now let's move on to the software improvements this year apple released the watch os 7 of course with the os 7 it is backwards compatible with a lot of the current watch that's on the market with that upgrade with the update you can also try out some of the new features like sleep tracking and some of the new watch faces that's currently available for me, actually, one of my favorite new features is how they change how you interact with the always-on display when it's on wrist down mode. Before WatchOS 7 on wrist down mode, if you want to interact with your watch or if you want to interact with a complication or, or a notification that comes up, you have to make sure you lift your wrist or tap it to, to wake the screen essentially before you can do anything. Now in WatchOS 7, even in wrist down mode, you can still tap or interact with the components on the screen without the additional step of lifting your wrist or tapping the screen to wake it um, to actually perform the action, which is such a time saver. I know it might be a fraction of a second, but for the short interactions that we use our Apple Watch with, I believe that is quite a good improvement. Another quick thing that I want to mention on the software side is now there are new workout types. Apple added a couple of workout types like dancing, like mentioned on the press release. They also made some of the modifications for the existing workout type that we had before. Even though Apple claimed the same battery life online, I do feel like on a regular day of usage, I get more at the end of the day, normally a 10 to almost 20% more battery life left on the Series 6 than the Series 5. Although it is quite difficult to try out some hardcore tasks on a watch, I do feel like on my day-to-day -day use, the Series 6 is a little bit more snappier in responding to my actions um, than the Series 5. For me on a typical day, I almost always have the phone connected to my watch and 
I try to fit in and work out for an hour and an hour and a half, varying from cardio or strength training. Um, at the end of the day, typically on a series five, I would be down to about 30, 40% of battery. But over the past week on series six, I've been able to still finish a, about a 12 hour day at about 50% battery life, which is very impressive. So here's my short summary. I love the watch so far. I can definitely feel the performance and battery improvements on the Series 6. And for the blood oxygen sensor, for somebody like me who's very interested in collecting all of the health-related data, I do consider it a very valuable addition. At the same time, I do also think that Watch OS 7 provided a lot of improvements and efficiency updates that will make your current and older watches valuable to hold on to as well. Thank you for watching the video. I had a good time hanging out with you guys. I have another video coming out with a comparison between the series 5 and 6. If you're interested in that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and come back for more. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.